your life changed since you won the Grassic Short Novel Prize? Um, in so in in many ways, um, winning that award gave me leverage in terms of my in terms of that particular novella and other writing too. So it got me, for example, it got me a reading, my first big reading in the Genesee Reading Series at Writers and Books. They contacted me because they knew that I won the award. It's just a piece of paper or it's just a title, but it's something that people in the public sphere will grasp onto that can open should I be looking at you? You're fine. Okay. <laughs> that will open up opportunities for, for you or for me that did open up an opportunity for me. And so that was huge. That it, that was just like the first thing. Then from the Genesee reading series, then there was a reporter from the Democrat and Chronicle who was at that reading, who then approached me and wanted to do a piece on all the words, who I then became friends with, who then invited me to do a reading for her reading series in Brockport, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, that's great. Now, can we just backtrack a little bit? Um, you mentioned three entities that our viewers may not know, oh, writers sure. and books mm -hmm. was the first one. Can, can you talk a little bit about that and what their involvement um, was with, with having you? Mm -hmm. uh, writers and Books is a literary center in Rochester, New York, and I don't know if every city has something like this, but if you do, you should grasp onto them and get to know them. Um, the Genesee, so uh, Writers and Books as a literary center, they host readings, they get involved with community writers. They offer workshops for adults. They do summer camp programs involving writing for kids. Um, they have reading groups for people who don't like to write but who love literature and want to read books and talk about them. They do a lot of different kind of programming for our city. And they, one of the programs they do is something called the Genesee Reading Series where they bring in once a month one or two writers from the region that are doing kind of important work and they invite you to read and have a conversation and they pay you which is nice too oh that's great it is that's great nice. it is great um and then because through my involvement with the genesee reading series i forged a relationship with writers and books that is now pretty deep um, i've become friends with the people who work there i they give me free space for my students to do public readings there once oh, a semester yeah. um, they've invited me to be a featured playwright for their 24-hour play, which is part of the Rochester Fringe Festival every year, um, and just a bunch of other things too. So being involved, it, writing my colleague Tony Leuzzi that you know, um, no, I know Tony <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> you know Tony, um, taught me that when you're, there's this sort of idea of a writer as being this kind of isolated person who lives on a mountain, who is very like self inside yourself, and I think that it's important to break out of that myth and start thinking of writer, the writer, you as a writer, as being part of the community. And Tony taught me the importance of being connected with community members and being generous and being, being willing to offer services to other writers, whether you're hosting readings for them or you are reviewing their work or something, whatever it is that you are good at or that you're capable of doing. Um, but the more you, your own work will be richer, or my own work has become richer, the more other writers and community organizations I've been involved with, and the more involved I am in other community networks. So my own writing has gotten richer, but also my platform has gotten wider. That now, so I am generous to other writers, but then other writers are also generous to me, and there's this kind of way that we help each other, that we work together to establish a broader reading base, and it's exciting. Thank you.